a restaurant called Invitation V. It's a vegan restaurant and also gluten-free options. And I got the mushroom burger. And instead of the, the bun that has gluten in it, I got this like corn patty. It smells amazing. <sighs> Look at these fries. Oh yeah. I'm gonna dip it in my vegan mayo. Oh my god. Holy shit. Legit. One it definitely is one of the best fries I've ever had. It's crunchy, so crunchy on the outside and like mushy delicious potato on the inside on the inside. Whew. I almost didn't get fries. I'm so glad I did. <laughs> we got some vegan mayo and ketchup. <laughs> I've never had a corn burger bun. And it's such a good idea. I've never seen it. There's an option in other restaurants. So it's just either a gluten free bun, um, but always falls apart, or a lettuce wrap. This is great. I want to like dissect this patty. That is a meaty patty. Salt, pepper, not many spices. Like the mushrooms it's themselves, they're shiitake. Very flavorful. And we got some caramelized onions, and pesto, lettuce, tomato. So good. Wow. This may be one of the best vegan burgers I've ever had too. And when I say that, like, that's a bold statement, right? Because I've had a lot of burgers. But this is one of the top. I'm at a place called Live Salads, and what a salad. This bowl is full of life. This bowl smells so fresh. You can smell the lime and the parsley and the avocado. Mm. There's nothing better than eating something that tastes so damn good and you know that it's just like pure health. It's got a mixture of kale and romaine lettuce. There's black beans and corn, quinoa, avocado. It's like a lime dressing. It's got radish in here as well. Tostitos, chips. Gives it that nice crunch too. It's really good. Oh, and fresh mango. Now this place does salads, that's what they do. They have a couple of Buddha bowls as well, but they're known for their salads. And this one here is supposed to be one of their most famous ones of all. Okay, so I'm at a place called Sushi Momo and they make only vegan sushi and there's a massive menu. Yeah, it has truffle oil, a bunch of different mushrooms, oyster, shiitake, that was the one. And then the other one has jackfruit on it, which is sold thing. that was it. So back to this one again. It has like these Japanese Rice Krispies around it, so it gives it that crunch. That is damn good. Oh my god. It's seared, so it's got like that smoky flavor, and I can taste the truffle oil. That was just the top of it too, I didn't even like dig in. Let's try this part. Oh my god. The sushi is unbelievable. There's so many different flavors and textures. I can definitely taste the meatiness of the jackfruit. There's some tempura around it, uh, around the seaweed. So there's that crunchiness as well. Hint of spice to it, which is really nice. Adds a little zing. Okay, so I'm sitting in the restaurant all by myself because I'm here solo and pretty much crying, like teary, because the food is so good. So, and it was a full restaurant, so it probably looks crazy, but I don't even care. That was one of the best meals I've ever had. Best sushi, hands down. And I've had a lot of sushi. That's a bold statement, but I'm sticking by it. So I'm at a vegetarian restaurant called Lola Rosa. There's three locations in Montreal, and they can do a lot with the menu if you're vegan or gluten-free. I got a curry, and they make their own curry here. It is vegan, 
gluten-free. This is like a corn tortilla. We got sweet potato here. There's chickpeas. Looks like green peas. It's on a bed of rice. Got some orange parsley on top. This is like a peach or mango chutney. Wow, that is spicy. Super flavorful. Tastes like coconut milk. Sweet. Sweet and spicy. I'd say it's more like a, a Thai curry than an Indian curry. I can't figure out what kind of chutney it is, but it's like cold and sweet. It balances out the, the spiciness of the, the curry. Mm. I am at a restaurant recommended several times by you guys called Love. It's about midday. This place is packed. Absolutely packed. There are no seats anywhere except these swings. So when I came in, the lady said, did, did you make a reservation? And I said, no, thinking, crap, I'm not going to get it. She's like, well, all we have are these swings in the back, like, like it was a bad thing. And I'm like, um, yeah, I'll take one of those. And I got my own little table. It's like perfection. I can just like swing here. Everyone else is going to sit in a normal chair. I got the vegan gnocchi made with buckwheat. And the pesto is a hemp spinach pesto. We got vegan Parmesan cheese on top, the arugula, gluten free baby, and vegan. Oh, wow. I'm loving that hemp pesto. Texture of the gnocchi, just like regular gnocchi. It's damn good. The texture is like, um, kind of like a more chopped mashed potato. And a little bit more chewier. I'm really digging the hemp. You can taste it. It tastes different than other pestos I've had. You can taste the hemp if you've ever had hemp before. I will definitely be eating all of this. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon here. Let's see how that is. Yeah. People think I'm weird talking to a 